Hey, our mascot just uh -huh. walked in. Oh. And it's our mascot. <laughs> this is Larry the shark. Larry? Oh, I thought his name was Mako. I don't know. I'm, I'm calling him Larry. So why is a shark in Vermont? In I think what? he's on vacation. Well, this is a very long vacation to enter the executive board meeting. Hey, hey executive board. Hey. Hi. Say hi to our viewers. Hi, yes. <laughs> Anyways, hey, Andy. Hi, Andy. After observing as president for CAB for the semester of fall, what is it, 06? <laughs> um, I noticed that we were being strained as a group for people and that some jobs were really hard for one individual to take on. Like the major events coordinator, for instance. Major events are so involved that the workload is too much for one person, so I ended up splitting the job in half. Now we have the major events details manager. This is a new position that we have just created. It is called the major events details manager. They work very closely with the major events coordinator and they do a lot of work as long, uh, along with the major events coordinator. And that nominee and appointment is Jason Ackerman. Woo! Details managers of major events right. of the executive yeah. cap. And you are free to go. Which they happily do all the little nitty gritty work and um, anything from finding, you know, a DJ to anything little tidbit that the major events coordinator can't get to and probably really shouldn't be doing for their stress, you know, we don't even all go insane. So, and let's see, then we have our club coordinator job split into the club council manager because we just put a new reform on our clubs to be more efficient in paperwork and other information. <laughs> <laughs> The only new position we created was the editor-in-chief for the CAB events newsletter, which doesn't have a name yet, but we'll get there. And then our other split job was, what was our other split job? Oh, publicity coordinator, details manager. And uh, they pretty much do the lower campus posting and then they do everything from mini flyers to uh, helping with the smaller details when it comes to publicity. So. Okay! We're not getting rid of Diane, she still likes us. So, but we also have somebody that's gonna be working very closely with her, that's the publicity coordinator, details manager. Joshua, get your booty up here. Come on, Joshua. <laughs> okay. So I officially dub you. <laughs> Let's just say he was our lackey no. all semester. Like, we made him do, like, the worst possible jobs, no demand. When I first came in, it was interesting. I came in at a rough time, and then this, I came in as president after I decided that publicity coordinator was a little too hard for me, and I think the dynamics of this group is actually really good, and I think that's why we haven't had the feeling of running around with our heads cut off during events, because everyone works together really well, but they're also very independent. When you give them something to do, they're usually doing it on their own once they have their jobs. So. In terms of CAB, there were six executive positions in the fall of 03. And so we have expanded that to, I think we have 15 now, basically by breaking down the different job descriptions so that um, everybody is doing more specific details instead of trying to take over an enormous load. We used to have a lot of people resign because with only six executive board positions, there was too, there was too much work to do. So. My first semester was spring of 05, in which I was actually kind of volunteering for CAB the entire time. I didn't actually have an executive board position. I, um, I had a very great influence on me during that semester, who was Chris Albanese, who was the former president of CAB. Um, he taught me a lot of different skills. He also was relying on mine somewhat because I, numerous numbers of times during that semester, quite literally at the end of the event, was falling over, passed out almost. Um, I was kind of driven to kind of run for some major event, some position on the exec board, and actually I originally started out running as the SGA rep, and I ended up being running for event, major events coordinator because of the fact that Emily thought I was needed more as a major events coordinator than as a uh, SGA rep, and ironically enough, as I've 
come now full circle, I'm back where I started somewhat. Do you think CAB has taught you any skills that you can use at your next college? Organizational. Um, especially organizational because of the fact that it's taught me how to lay out certain things, but realizing that you can't always do it by, lin by just linear definition. You have to sometimes put in gaps and do different things like that. And as much as you may try to, you know, hold it all on yourself, sometimes working with other people is the best way to do it in the end. Sometimes you don't learn that unless you have experience in doing it. And that's something I learned very fast and efficiently when I got to a certain point. When you get to huge ass events, you realize that. With CAB, I've learned more politic leadership, you know, how to approach people in a way to not hurt their feelings and also get things done. And I think I'm a stronger leader because of CAB. So, um, how do you think the gong show is going to go tomorrow night? Oh god, it's going to be a hoot. <laughs> I think because it's one of our more laid back things, it's close to the end of the semester, it's supposed to be silly, there's no, you know, set way we do it, I think it's going to be a blast.